real men don't drink pumpkin spice. Bullshit, because I do. And I'm a real man. Uh. Nah, I actually only enjoy one or two of these throughout the season, so I'm not one of these. Hang on, folks. Shit, the light turned green. Gotta go. racing up here to the Ford dealership to just look at some trucks. I gotta get there before they sell them all. You know, it's that time of year they start giving that shit away. Come in today, get a 2019 Ford F-150 for negative $100. No, I thought I'd go up here and just look around, see what they got. This is North Georgia Ford or Blue Ridge Ford. This is where my uh, step pappy traded in a 2004 Mercedes SL 55 AMG with only 80,000 miles on it. Traded it in up here for the expedition he drives traded it in up here and uh, let them uh, rob him of that car. They gave him $14,000 on trade. I cussed his ass out after he did that. He didn't ask my advice. He knows I'm a car dealer. He knows, uh, he, know, he knows that I know it all. Or at least I like to think I do. And he didn't tell me or even ask me one question about Hey, do you think that's a good joke? Since you go to the fucking car auctions all the time and you're a car dealer, do you think this is a good, good deal? I would have said, hell no. It was on their website within, oh shoot. Uh, because, uh, I mean, it was on their website within 24 hours for 24.5 and sold with, by the end of the week. <laughs> I mean, they ripped him off so bad, but he deserves it. He's my stepdad. I like him. He's all right guy, but he's not very bright. He's kind of dumb. He's actually pretty stupid. Um, let's see. This is the Jeep place. I want to get to the Ford place. I hope they're not open. It's 616. Surely they're closed. I mean, this is way up here in the country. These people got to go home and eat supper. Up here's where, up here people still eat supper. Gotta get to eat supper. Oh man, that's pretty sharp. Check out that F-250. Oh, it's got some sort of badge on it. They like to sell all their trade-ins here on the lot. It don't matter how old it is or what it is, if it's a boat or a camper or a whatever, they'll put it out here for sale. Um, yeah, it looks like they're still open, damn it. I don't want to get out of the car because I don't want to get in the middle of a conversation. Let's just go down the used car aisle here and see if we see anything interesting. Yeah, see these campers and boats up here? They take this stuff on trade. They'll take anything on trade. Ah, diesel. Got a jet of diesel. Oh, see? Here's a prime example of what I'm talking about right here. Look at that Torino. No, what is that? Man, that is cool. Is that a, it's like a Torino cab on it. I don't. Yeah, I forgot what these things are called. Ranchero. Yeah. Interior, it's not bad. Man, that camper top, boy, that thing's old. That is pretty cool. Pretty cool. It's 
So anyway, yeah, Ford Ranchero, what, 1972? This is the same age as me. They want five grand for it. <laughs> Good luck. But look at that old camper shell. It's a pretty rust-free car. I mean, it's got a few little spots here and there. The salesman came out here and talked to me. He said they've had it quite a while. Someone traded it in. He said they're extremely negotiable on the price. But it's a straight old car. Pretty straight. That is a cool find right there, man. Never know what you might find up here in 